Good morning, Templars. Welcome to another episode of Beginner's Guide. Today it's Beginner's Guide, Auto Aim and Blitz, The Secrets Others Won't Tell You. Now I title it this way because if you look this up in YouTube, you're not going to find a whole lot of videos on auto aim if you find anything. And if you find anything, it's not going to be by one of the big YouTubers like um, Droodles or Meadzy or Fugits Blitz or anybody like that because they don't talk about it. Nobody talks about it. For some reason, it's a, a taboo subject. I've only had it one time where we heard anything about it in a video, and that was by Martin Dogger, and it was kind of a slip up. Now, my brother, Coach Mike, and I, we both heard it separately in a video, and we both talked about it later, and we decided at that point that we wanted to start talking about auto-aim. We wanted to do a video on it. So that's what this is. This has been more than a year in the making. We've been planning it, talking about it, looking it up, practicing it, and here's the culmination of what we've come up with. Um, basically, what I've done is I've come up with three separate steps. Um... They're easy steps, they're not hard, and hopefully they will help you figure things out on doing this. Um, it's actually easier than you think. Um, it's just using it takes a little bit of practice and a lot of trust. So anyways, guys, here we go. Let's go and get into this. The first step is aim, fire, and hit. So you wanna zoom in with your tank, aim at your target, and hit them. Now that you hit them, zoom out. Do not touch the fire button, or do, sorry. Zoom out, do not touch the aim, aim button again. You only wanna be firing. The third step, is, as you just saw, was just drive and shoot. As your tank reloads, you wanna, you wanna be shooting, and you just trust. So here, here we're in the training room. Coach Mike is in the Leopard PTA. I'm in the E75 and we're just practicing back and forth. Um, he's, he's watching from me over here. Here he hits and fires a track shot. Now he's gonna stay zoomed in, but the, the, this works the same zoomed in or zoomed out. He's not aiming at this point. He just hit me again and tracked me again. Every time he pulls it, every time he has a, a round loaded, he's gonna pull out and he's gonna fire and it's gonna hit and it may not track every time but the tendency is is once you've auto aimed in a spot the auto aim is going to want to try and keep hitting that same spot that's how it works so it's going to keep trying to hit that spot and here it is look you track me again a third time he's tracked me and he's not aiming in he only aimed the first time so that's in basis this is how auto aim works now some of the the pros and cons well the pros is um it will keep keep you aimed in while moving and not in sniper mode. It, it, even in sniper mode, it'll keep you moved in, aimed in. Um, so you're able to move around, you're able to look and see what you're doing, you're able to see tanks around you. If somebody's coming up or it, the situation's changing, you know, it, it's gonna, you're gonna see it better than if you're zoomed in and just focused on one guy. Um, it's gonna keep aimed in at, a, at the weak spot if that's where you aimed in to begin with. It's going to try and do that, like I said. Um, if you're peekabooming, like Coach Mike is right here, it saves you aim times and HP. Now he's still taking hits from me. He still took hits from me, but you know, in the end, um, he was making a lot of shots. So here I'm in ML2, and I'm uh, I fired in. I hit this guy. I backed out, fired another hit, and then he gets killed. So some of the cons is um, it's only aiming. Or it's going to try and aim for the spot that you aimed at, but it's not necessarily going to do it. It's not necessarily going to hit it. it, it it's going to hit what it can. So if the other tank changes its angle, or changes its turning, or you're turning, and you have a different target, it's still going to aim at the tank, but it may not be hitting the exact target. It's also not going to do any calculations on penetration. So if it sees nothing but red it's, and you're firing, it's still going to be hitting nothing but red. It's not going to be an auto pen or anything like that. Um, the last kind of thing is while you can auto aim on all tanks, all tank types, um, the thing to be careful of and watch for is when you are in a TD with no turret, if you're 
um, in sniper mode or you're, you're a long range and you snipe in and hit somebody, um, when it's tracking this guy, it could end up, um, sorry, I lost my thought. It could end up blowing your camo rating because it's going to turn to track this guy. So anyways, here I am in P44 Pantera. I am, we're on Normandy and you can see I've aimed in and I'm just using auto aim. I'm just auto aim, I'm, I'm auto aiming this T32. A minute ago I was doing the, um, the uh, Ferdinand. I'm taking some massive hits from the ML on the side of me and he's really eating up my HP. I'm gonna have to be careful at this point. So, um, and that's exactly what I'm doing is I'm just gonna back up. I'm gonna get my rounds loaded. I'm gonna reset my camo and I'm just gonna watch and see where I can go to track this guy down because I got two more t green tanks on my left and they're following this guy. So, and they're both heavy. So I'm just gonna try and stand here and follow this guy and take some shots where I can. You saw that one bounced. Um, that was, I, I'm not aimed at this point. I tried it, but there was nothing to shoot at. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna use this building as, as cover and I'm just waiting for those heavies on my team to pull up and, and pressure this guy so I can start getting some side shots or something. Here he is, I see he's coming at me before I get spotted. I wanna back up, back up, stay in cover and keep this building between him and, him and myself. I, I, I'm, I might take one shot for him, but we both know that ML1 has three shots and I can't take, I can't take two shots from him. I, there's not a chance. Um, so I'm still waiting for my chance to get some shots in on him. So here we are. So my, the IS is coming up. The IS is going to take his attention and maybe get him to take, he takes a shot on him. Um, IS is now on a reload and there's one shot I've aimed in. Two shots, I'm, I'm zoomed out and here's my third shot. Now he's dead. And that was all auto aim. Okay guys, so here we are. I am on, uh, on my T62A and Coach Mike is in the mouse. This is a training room game. We set up a one-on-one -on -one just to demonstrate some of the finer points and just how, how it will do in a brawl because um, really that's where you wanna be looking to use your auto aim is when you're brawling somebody. Uh, it makes it a lot, more, a lot easier to just be driving around, not have to worry about aiming and just you know shoot and drive. Shoot and drive, reload, shoot and drive. And that's what I'm doing here. So. You can see I'm still taking some shots from Coach Mike. I mean, and he was not told to not shoot at me. He was told, this is a brawl, let's fight. And that's what we're doing. We set up what map we're gonna go on. We set up where he was gonna meet. And other than that, it's it's all brawl. It's all him versus me. Um, you can see that I'm just using the T62A to to pay, take shots at him when I get him. I'm not getting everything in. Like I said earlier, it's just auto aiming. It's not, they're not always gonna pin. They're gonna get some bounces in there, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm just, I'm just keeping. I said, even though I go around a building, it's still aimed at him, and and you see my turret is still turning to follow him because, um, even though I'm going around a building, that that's what I want. I want the turret to keep following him. Um, that that's one less thing I have to do. If I'm zoomed in doing this, I'm hitting a building. I'm, I'm. It's just not working. And if I'm aiming while I'm doing this. Well, it's not as it's it's not going to be as accurate, and I'm still going to have problems steering and, and turning and everything else. This is a lot easier, and let me tell you, it makes driving mediums a lot funner when you're able to to brawl with somebody and just do something like this, especially a big slow tank. So here we are, going to come back around the corner. You can see that I'm still aimed in. I'm still hitting. I may not hit every shot. Uh, I make a mistake here. Fortunately. He was on a reload and not able to get on me, but I went up that hill and lost momentum. But I'm able to get around him, get behind him. One more shot and he's dead. Gentlemen, that's auto aiming. So uh, to review, aim your, aim your target and hit him. Uh, that's the first steps you wanna do. The second step is you wanna zoom out. Uh, don't touch the aim button. Just let, let the auto aim do the work now. The last step is just drive, aim, reload, fire. That's it, aim, re, fi, aim, fire, reload. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. 
this has been a lot of work uh, that by Coach Mike and myself. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it.